Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix the error iTunes connect, connect to the iPhone and unknown, an unknown error has occurred with the XE800000A So after I connect this uh, iPhone, I try to um, uh, sync it, but I'm getting the error So what you can do is try to um, uh, go to this uh, folders and see if you can remove the corrupt folders so open up um, C drive so in C drive here and go to um, program data so open up my computer in, in inside this PC local disk C drive and then program data and then we want to go down and look for a, a folder called uh, lockdown so let's get into Apple and then go into that lockdown folders where is it? Here it is. And then remove this folder. So it's most likely it's corrupted. So I'm just going to click on delete. So it's deleting that folder. And then now I try again. So I unplug the phone. Now I'll plug it back in. Let's just close this one here. So again, another error comes up. Now there are could many different reasons why it's causing the error. So maybe this could be because some of the services has been shut down. For example, if you have decided to uh, shut down the computer, or if you have accidentally put the computer to sleep or log out, and then you click on the cancel button, some of the services then uh, get stuck, and this can also cause a problem. In this case, what you can do is try to reactivate the service otherwise um, the easiest way is to restart the computer so I'm just going to restart the computer right now okay the computer has restarted I will launch iTunes again okay if after restarting the computer and you still have the same problems then what you want to do is to delete iTunes and then install a new version so um, either update or download a new version and then install a new version give that a try so here I'll click on check for update and I'll try to download the update, download iTunes, and then we'll run the new update. So here I'll download and install one item. Okay, now after many try, after updating the iTunes software, and I restart the computer, now it works, I have no more errors. So you need to download the iTunes software and update it to the latest version, then you will not have any error. As you can see right here, now I have connected the phone and it's no longer giving me uh, any problems. So here it is. So uh, that's what you need to do uh, in order for you to... Uh, so I'm just going to unplug the plug it in. You just need to update the software. Now sorry for this long video it's because there are many different scenarios that can cause the same problems. Again, that folder at the beginning that I told you that folder needs to be deleted. Otherwise, it could be uh, some services is not working, so you need to restart the computer. Otherwise, you need to update your iTunes software. Different scenarios might cause the same error. So, uh, if if you are on a Mac computer or a Mac Pro book, uh, I try to click on update and I still get an error. So what you want to do is go to Safari and download the software and then install the software or the update of the iTunes so if you just simply um, try to update you may still get an error so make sure that you actually go to Safari web browser and download the software and then install it otherwise uninstall and then uh, install it again and that's it thank you for watching this video I hope uh, it has uh, helped you fix the problems I know if you're going to just getting the new phone you want to quickly back up and restore the data and you may face uh, this problem so I hope this video solves your problem Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos.